man. He's done a big sweep of some very nice gold medals there. 1971 yeah. Falcon Fairmont. Yep. Forged, you'd call it. Yep. In this video, we'd just love to talk to, let the fans know that, you know, about the build, where yep. it started, how it's ended up to be this, yeah, well, the build, this crazy. Yeah, the build originally started about 12 years ago and um, bought an engine out of America and decided what car to put it in. So I located myself a Fairmont XY, um, originally a 351 top loader car, but we pulled the engine and that out, sold that off and then uh, began the trip. It's, and look at this engine, like nice and bronze, the green, the colors, this, it's a beautiful combination. And something you and Pat picked or you knew from the start? Um, I didn't know from the start on the actual color or what. We've had two or three different colors, originally yeah. black and then a really deep purple. And then Pat's like, let's do a green and we mixed it up and painted it out and came out really good. And then he suggested the Cerakote, which I hadn't seen before and um, went and did some spray outs of the Cerakote and was happy with that. And the combination worked really well. So we ran it through the car. Tell us about the interior, because a lot of people, if they jump in, they see like the integrated roll cage and the seats and all these innovations. It's and there's some motorized stuff in the car. It's yeah. Well, there's special. everything in the car. I mean, yeah. the, the car's you know a 1971 model car, but it's been brought up into the 21st century. Yeah. Um, we've got electric seats. We've got everything in it. Um, it's to say, yeah, you're right. Like there, there's an integrated cage in it for safety. Yeah. Um, I always drive my cars, so as much as people say you won't drive it. You know, it was built to be driven, it's built to be registered. Yep. We've done all the engineering and construction along the way that's required. And um, I look forward to driving it and giving it a skid. Yeah, yeah. In terms of driving and stuff, what sort of things do you think you'll do with the car? Oh, look, I just like to cruise and that. I've yeah. got a family and grandkids and that. So yeah. whenever you can take the kids or the missus out or... Maybe a you know, cars just, and coffee pop up or yeah, something one day. I like the old cars and coffee or yeah. chrome bumper days or whatever. And yeah. It's good to just be able to take something different along and... You know, the car's got a six-speed electronic shift in it and um, training in it and all the rest of it, so it should drive basically as good as a brand new, brand new car. Yeah, yeah. It's bringing it to MotorX. I know it's been a long build, somewhat, <laughs> but you can't rush these things. That's why there's many gold medals sitting there, you know, there's... Yeah, look, it's, it's one of those things. You sort of start the journey and it's a journey you've just got to continue on, yeah. whether it's um, some form of insanity or what, but you, know, you do <laughs> have to persevere with it and just keep digging into the pocket and um, get to the end of the journey, basically. And yeah, look, the car's turned out better than I ever thought it could or would, and yeah, I'm more than happy. And you build relationships and memories along the way, which are also important. And you know, we've built plenty of them with Pat and Kasha from Pat's Pro Restos, and you know, we look forward to doing more cars with them and what an amazing, you know, spending time with them. What an amazing group of guys there. Oh, look, great. At Bo does it like yeah. wonderful workshop. Yeah. There's, you know, this is. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> they're, they're a great group of guys. It's hard to. Just, yeah. Hard to describe easily, but there, there's no arrogance. There's no, you know, Pat's obviously a master tradesman. He's yeah. just built one of the best cars Australia's ever seen. And they did everything in their shop. The interior, everything was yeah. done there. Um, the only thing that was outsourced was the rebuild of the engine. Um, but uh, basically everything was done at, in their shop and they can do the whole program. And yeah, you can't be, you can't it's a get one, It's anyway. a wonderful setup there. Yeah. You walk here and go over to the trim and stuff like that. I saw Pat there last November and I saw the car there as well. And, Pat, I find one of the most relaxed blokes to talk to. He's really chilly. Yeah. He lowers everybody's, I feel, blood pressure by 40 yeah. points and you have to have patience to, yeah. you know, put a project like this. Oh, look, Pat's given a lot to the program. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Like any car builder, any of these top superstars will tell you that every car you build takes it out of you in one way or the other, whether you're, you're the one painting it or you're the one paying for it. But um, Pat's stuck to the project too. He could have, you know, there are times I know that he was frustrated with it and I was frustrated with it. But, you know, we used to just sit down and, you know, have a bottle of Coke or can of Coke together and talk about where we believed the car needed to go and we'd, we'd start ticking that next box. It was really a journey of, you know, one thing after another, complete that one thing, get it right, and then move on to the next thing that was, you know, hurdle we had to face. Can I ask to, to take, to give the insight to people, what sort of car did you want to build in the beginning? Oh, look, I just wanted a really tough streeter that um, had a really high quality of build. Yeah. Um, you know, this car's probably gone as far or beyond anything you'd ever seen before as far as engineering yeah. um, which you know makes the car safer and everything else but the actual quality of the finish of the car was something I was always chasing. I heard of someone today say, won't know their name, say probably one of the best cars ever built in Australia. That's pretty big. Yeah it's a big, big, you know, it's a big thing to say yeah. but you know we didn't, we didn't build the car to actually yeah. go out and try and achieve that. Yeah. We built the car to you know, to satisfy my own wants, basically. And it, it's like what you just said. It's a street car to a very high level. Like, yeah. you want to drive this car. That's the real deal. Yep. Yeah, it is, you know. And yeah. people may say, I won't drive it, but 
It'll watch get me. It'll get driven. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, too good. I guess so now, a bit of cruising and stuff like that. A bit more of the show scene, I think, through. What's the plans for the rest of the year? Uh, we've got Mackay show in, in uh, 1st of July. Yep. Um, I'm from Mackay, so okay. the guys up there have done a great job building the, program, the club and that up up there. Tony Camilleri, the president of the club, is a good mate of mine. So I've agreed to take the car up there. And um, Otherwise, Pat and I are looking at SEMA. And then uh, we'll probably end up at Summer Nats to go for Grand Champion there. Yeah, wow. And do the driving events and yeah. put the bitumen to the tyre. Sounds good. Maybe a bit of burnout smoke off the back. We've seen a few Falcons do a burnout so a few times at Summer Nats. <laughs> yeah, it should have enough there to turn them. <laughs> yeah, totally. totally. But I guess for you, special, we talk about SEMA, we talk about Summer Nats, but being, taking a show to your home, taking the car to your hometown to a show, that's got to be cool. Oh, look, it's, it's one yeah. of those things, you know, car building and anything you yeah. do, it's, you know, we've always been heavily involved with our community and that. Yeah. And, if we can help the show and generate more interest in Mackay, I mean, there's a lot of really top-level cars in Mackay and collectible cars in Mackay. Yeah. And, you know, if we can help their show and any other shows around the place that, you know, want to invite us or whatever, then we'll pack the car up and take it along. That's it. Well, if you see Forged at any show, Mackay, if you want to support it at SEMA, for many Americans watching this, this is a must-see car at Summer Nats. We'll see you there. Dan will be there. And good yep. luck with the circuit, mate. Excellent. Thank no you. worries. Thanks very much. I'm here with Pat. Pat's Pro Restos. This is very... Very special. It's a work of art. I know yes. your expectations are high, so I said that it'll blow your expectations. And I know you can put this quality of work out, mate, but this is off, it's yeah. off the planet. <laughs> it is. It's, um, <laughs> oh, it's a credit to all our guys, yeah, not just course. me. You know, there's a team of people behind it. And Dan and Kylie, you know, I knew what they wanted and where they wanted to go. And they committed financially, so I just wanted to make sure that we did it, yeah, so, yeah. which I think we did. A project like this, do you, when are you going to start out? Do you have to, how far in the planning do you go ahead with your style? And I guess it, oh, does that vary with, build, with it varies, um, it varies customer through. to customer? It does. It, it varies customer to customer. Ideas change all the way through the build. Yeah. I know the majority of it's laid out, but it does change as you go yeah. because obviously things go to a different level and, and whatnot. But yeah, it's um, yeah, a lot of planning, a lot of, a lot of communication with the boys, a lot of trial and error as well I suppose you know because you, you're sort of trying to go for a certain look so it doesn't always just go down you do a job list and it's not one job it turns into four jobs to get that one job done kind of thing yeah it's that sort of car yeah yep yeah. we talked to Dan he talked about SEMA he talked about summon ads I said how cool do you at the home show in Mackay where he's from yeah be cool to go there and yeah. support that show we will we'll go to Mackay take yeah. it up Mackay uh, next month uh, or yeah. a couple of months and um We'll do summer nats. We'll um, we'll do, go for grand champion. We'll yeah. we'll drive it at summer nats and do yep. all that. So, he said yeah. he definitely wants to turn tyres. Yes, one hundred percent. So no, we'll do that. So no, it, it'll be cool. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's just cool to see it finished and you know, huge effort by all the boys. You know, especially the last few months, it's been massive. A credit to all your guys. A lot of gold medals sitting over there, mate. But yes. that is just a yeah. That's, that's a um, cool. so no credit, credit to all our boys. They they um they really stepped up. Especially you know Drew, our fabricator, and Lucky, you know, one of our painters and whatnot. They just did some yeah. stupid amount of hours the last few months and. Yeah. You know, there was stuff there that were running out of time deadline-wise for the CNC stuff, and they didn't have time. So I called Drew our walking CNC machine in the workshop. So he just got on the lay, and then he just made stuff, you know, that would normally get CNC'd. So it's pretty incredible what he can do and make. So. I remember coming past the shop in, in late November or so, and the car was very secretive. Like, there wasn't yes. a lot getting out, which is, yep. and it's all been unveiled here. And now yep. you can see why, and the impact has shown yeah. exactly why you guys have wanted to keep we, it a secret. We wanted to keep it secret just for, um, for the car and for Dan and Coley because they had so much in it, so we just yeah. wanted to keep it secret for the, the maximum impact. Yeah. If you see pictures of them all over the internet, you see build, it's cool, but then you don't get that massive like wow, you know what's coming. Yeah. We didn't want people to know what was coming, and a lot of people knew it was coming, but they didn't know how good it was. So we, I, we we aim to build the best car in the country, and I, I think I think we achieved it. I was saying to Dan before that I heard before I'm not going to name names, but I heard someone say this is probably the best car ever built in Australia. Yeah, and a few few guys like Fitzpatrick and yeah. a few other, you know, like Fabar and Ron Barkley and a few of them guys I've got a lot of respect for, they've come up and said, you know, congrats, awesome. Like, that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, very, from a few yeah, of them guys. So, very cool, yeah. yeah. Legends of the scene, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. How sad are you going to be to see him turning tyres he did all No, I'll be pretty happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. mind just Because he's going to drive in Hagwood's that. Yeah. He said cars and coffee. This has got to be the world's best cars and coffee with this yeah. Ford's no, turning up. I don't, I don't mind him going for a skid. No, I like seeing it turn the tyres. The thing yeah. sounds tough as. Yeah, it yeah. Sounds, sounds really good. So 900 horsepower. And it, you know, it idles like a little puppy. Like we <laughs> donated it all before it went in to make sure it was all tuned right. So yeah, yeah he, he wanted to drive it out the trailer. And I said, we're not driving it until after <laughs> Motor X. I said, just wait. So, so yeah, he's, he's keen to get in and hit the key. Yeah, too good. So that should be good.